Okay, so today we're going to try to get some of these beams set. Um, I got uh, the 30 foot beams here. They're uh, number 35 W beams. Uh, they're, they're 8 inch wide flange beams, 35 pounds per foot. I went ahead and bolted uh, lumber to the top, that way I don't have to do it up there. Carries bolts lumber to the top, and I marked them every 16 inch uh, for the joists. Well, it'll be four joists on one half of the pole barn, rafters on the other half, but they're marked every 16 inches. <clears throat> that way I don't have to do that uh, up in the air. So I got five of these beams. Um, so this morning we're going to try to get started setting these beams. Um, so I had considered, you know, renting either a, <clears throat> a telehandler or uh, a boom truck to set these beams. Uh, I thought I had one lined up, but it wasn't going to be available until later in the summer. So I kind of uh, I have an idea here that I think is going to work pretty well, and uh, we'll see. But uh, I'll show you what I'm planning on doing. I painted these posts, these poles yesterday. It's supposed to get a lot of rain here in the next week. So I figured I'd kind of get them weatherproof. <clears throat> so what I did is I have, uh, I went and got two 20 foot sections of angle iron. And that's what you see laying here. Um, my plan is I'm gonna use this angle iron on each post, on each pole, and it's going to give me a hoisting point to lift the beams into position. So right here I welded a chunk of steel on here. This is going to be just to to get it stood up with the skid steer. Um, down at the bottom I have counterweight attached. Uh, that's because my my lifting point is on the lower half, so I had to add some counterweight to the bottom um, so it would stand up vertical without the top trying to fall down. Um, I drilled a couple holes in here so I could lag it to the pole just for a little extra insurance. And then up at the top, <coughs> just have a, a section of 3-8 cable with a snatch block. Um, so. The load on this is 8,000 pounds, so that should be more than enough. The beams weigh about 1,200 pounds a piece. So that should be about 600 pounds on each of these blocks. It says not for hoisting. Um, today, it's going to be for hoisting. Um, I'm pretty sure these are capable of, and we're obviously not going to stand under it during this operation. But <clears throat> so I, have, I have two of these set up exactly the same. I took a grinder and kind of beveled this off so I don't have any sharp edges for the cable to to get <clears throat> to get cut on so yeah that's the plan gonna stand gonna go you know obviously one set at a time but we're gonna stand these these angle wires up attach them to the poles and then we're gonna bring the beam up set it at the base of the pole <clears throat> I have two Jeeps uh, one Jeep has an 8,000 pound winch other Jeep has a 9,000 pound winch so we're gonna have a Jeep set at each pole <clears throat> And if the plan works correctly, we're just going to simply use this as a hoisting point and hoist the beams up and set them on top of the poles. So that's the plan. That's what we're going to be working on today. <clears throat> 